Engineer Man here. Today we're going to make programming cool again by teaching you about header files. Ready? Good. Okay, today's level is beginner. What is a header file for? Header file is for declaring functions and macros, specifically those that should be shared between source files. Are header files required? Well, no, but you'd be silly not to use them. If you would like, you can always take the contents of the entire header file and copy and paste it into all of your source files. That is what the C compiler is going to do anyways, but that's a lot of maintenance, so it's just easier to use header files. Example time? Yeah, I think so. We're going to be looking at three files. The first file is just your main source file, and we're going to come back to this. You can see the include statement. We'll come back and describe how that works later. But in this main function, we're really just calling a function that's included from the header file. We're using a macro that's included in the header file, and then a type def that's included in the header file. The second file we're looking at is going to be the actual function's source file. And in here, there's just one function. It's just a, it's an add function, returns an integer, and it returns the sum of two numbers. And that's it. That's all it does. The final one we're looking at is the actual header file. This is the most important one. So in the header file, there is, the first thing we're going to look at is these two lines up here. This is called the header guard. And the whole purpose of the header guard is to ensure that in a given program, one header file is not expanded multiple times. So in this case, what would happen is the first time this header file is included, it's going to say, if not defined, functions underscore h, then do all of this. So the first thing it's going to do is define functions h. And that'll ensure that if it's included again, functions h is going to be defined, and therefore it's not going to run this. So in our header file, we have three things. We have a function declaration, we have a macro declaration, and then we have a type def declaration. These are going to be the three things that we're wanting to share with our main source file in this case. So now we'll go back to our main source file. So what happens here is you're going to include the header file. Now, when you include the header file and C goes and, or GCC goes and compiles your program, really what it's doing is it's saying, all right, I'm going to look for functions.h in the current directory. Okay, it's there. I'm going to come, I'm going to grab all the contents, and I'm going to just dump it right into there. This is what GCC will do in the end. Now, because of that, let's look at our make file and the compilation here in our compilation, we have main.c functions.c. Notice that we do not have functions.h, and that's because you're not really compiling functions.h. The GCC is going to include it in each source file, and it's going to compile that whole file, so there's no actual need to include it in your actual GCC code. And just like that, you're that much smarter on header files. Pat yourself on the back. You earned it. In the comments below, let me know if I missed anything or if you have any questions. I read and use your reply to every comment, and I love reading your feedback. And make sure to punch that subscribe and like button, too, if you feel like I deserved it. See you next time.